So at the beginning of the summer, I um, went to Riverside Hospital. Everybody's probably wondering what my deal is with Riverside Hospital. Well, let me tell you. I was sent to the hospital by my narcissist who I've been trying to leave, but he's codependent and whatnot. Yeah, he don't, he don't listen. He don't respect anybody's boundaries. Like, he will do whatever he feels necessary, say whatever he feels necessary to get his way. And I've cut his shit off so many times. And then... He goes crying to Dr. Khan, man. Says what he wants. And Dr. Khan, man, believes him. I was, I was Dr. Khan, man's patient. Let me tell you what Dr. Khan, man, did to me. <clears throat> Dr. Khan, man. Didn't listen to anything I said. Dr. Conman thought whatever he wanted. I told Dr. Conman, I think this guy's a narcissist. I explained to him that, that he'd be touching me on the couch at night, like when I was sleeping, and I told him to respect my motherfucking boundaries. And he thinks that because I have kids with him, he can do whatever he wants. There's free will out here. I fucking told him that too. I told him I'm, sp I'm on a spiritual journey. And I read tarot and all that stuff. And he took that as I hear voices. What he heard was I, I talked to dead people. Now went ahead and diagnosed me with um, schizophrenia. <laughs> My top fucking blew the fuck off, let me tell you. Because that is a serious, serious diagnosis. And they wanted to give me medications for this diagnosis. And I said no. This ain't happening. Because I sure the fuck am not schizophrenic. And I sure the fuck am not going to take medications that I don't need. That I don't want. I told him, you're working for the narcissist at this point. Because what the narcissist wanted was for me to take these medications because he wants me to be like this I can't fight for myself and this doctor is like why are you so angry and I said because you're a fucking con man You want me to take medications that, that I don't need. And you're working for a narcissist. That's why I'm pissed. And he says, you're impulsive. Well, yeah. You're, you're talking about giving me medications that are for, like, seriously mentally ill people and I am not mentally ill at all not at all I told him I have ADD and he said oh I wouldn't want to give you that it's a stimulant well I would focus more if I had that but whatever maybe I'd be like less and the impulsiveness? That's because he had me locked up 
saying I'm a schizophrenic and I'm helpless at this point. So I have this law to protect me, right? I don't have to take anything that they tell me to take. I signed a five day paper when I went in there. They have a paper you sign. And it says you can get out in five days. You sign this paper. I signed that paper. Fifth day comes around. I hadn't taken the medication yet. And he says, Oh no, we're we're gonna have you stay longer and take you to court to force these medications on you. And I was not delighted, as you can probably imagine. But you want to know how I reacted to this situation? I just sat back. I said, okay. Okay, doctor. Whatever you say. Because that's just how it has to be now, isn't it? So he takes me to court. On the way in, I seen the state attorney there, and she had my drawings that I drew in her stack of papers. And I said, excuse me, those are my papers, why do you have them? And immediately she handed them over to me. I thought that was a little bit Fishy. And <clears throat> okay, we have court. My attorney did a great job. He was great. But we lost. For some reason. He told them, listen, tarot readers have been around for centuries. What are you talking about? If she says she's this, she's this. He said, I heard of it before. And um, the judge was unknowledged on what was going on. And she says, well, I don't think she needs mental facilitation like they were asking for. But she did force the medication on me. So that I could leave. They wanted to give me an injection. And I told them heck to the fuck no. Because I'm a tarot reader and I use my intuition. And I need to be 100%. I need to feel my feelings and my body. In order to use my intuition correctly. So that would just damage my career, you know. That I'm trying to build for myself. And then I was like, okay, I'll take the pills. And, and they gave me the pills. I didn't take any of them. I spit them all out. Rightfully so. Because I do not need that medication and that would be detrimental to what I'm trying to do. Fishy. So, what's actually going on with Dr. Con Man? Why am I calling him Dr. Lipschitz? Why did one of the other patients there who was ex-Navy make me a paper crown and leave it on the table for me to have. Hmm. Why was I um, drawing so many pictures there that they were interested in? 
for the security cameras. I drew pictures that made sense to me to tell the story because I knew the doctors weren't listening to me. And I knew Travis, the security guard, was watching. Or if he wasn't, he was going to. So, everybody wants to know why am I so extra? That's why. Because this narcissist now has my kids in his possession with a no contact order on me because I'm a schizophrenic. And my mom is 60 something years old, almost 70. And she just, she just doesn't know what we're going to do about it. You know. And she's all I got. And then I got my brothers who never, ever, ever talked to me. Sending police officers over to my house. To check up on me to make sure I'm okay. And I got my friend. Oh, not anymore. A girl I grew up with, and we've been friends for over 20 years, she's sending police officers over here, too. She seems to think I'm wacko crazy. Seems like Dr. Con Man needs to fucking get one with reality and realize that he's not helping nobody. Matter of fact, he has destroyed my fucking life. And I've got no answer for it. Oh, another thing. I have called that lawyer that I had. He hasn't called me back yet. I've called him a couple of times, left a message. So who's checking his messages? Messages. <laughs> and deleting my messages. Why is Cardi B making crazy ass songs like press? Hmm. Think motherfuckers. 